Hi there, welcome back to my kitchen. All right, so what I'm gonna make today is a smoked hamburger and I'm gonna stuff it with some cheese. The stuffing that I'm gonna put in it is half cup of jalapeno cream cheese, half cup of jalapeno Havarti, one full cup of sharp cheddar cheese grated, and one um, jalapeno that I diced nice, nice and small. So I mix that all up, it's ready to go. Uh, what I'm gonna add to my ground beef is a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to add one egg. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Worcester. Three quarter cups of crushed Ritz crackers. I've got one third cup of uh, barbecue sauce. You can use any kind you like. And the seasoning, I've got one and a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just throw that in there. And that's it. So now I'm just going to give it a really good mix. Make sure it's all well combined. And when I'm done that, I'm going to show you how I stuff my burgers. So I'm going to grab a nice chunk of my ground beef mixture, form it into a nice ball, and then I'm going to flatten it on my cutting board. You want to get it nice and, and flattened. And I'm also, so the bottom layer is going to be uh, bigger than the top layer. So I'm going to flatten this one out. Looks big. This is definitely going to be a big burger, but that's okay. All right, so I'm done flattening it. I'm going to add a nice big chunk of cheese right in the middle, like that. In the cooking process, some of the cheese might like seep out, but that's okay, like you'll still get some in there. Okay, so a good chunk like that. Then I'm going to take a, sm a little bit of a smaller ball of the ground beef mixture, a bit more. Just like that. And I'm going to flatten it beside that one. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm just gonna cover my, uh, my cheese with that smaller piece. So you can see um, I've got a lot more room on the outside here of the, the bottom one, so that way I can fold it over. Just gonna fold all the edges over. Sticking a little bit here, but that's okay. So now, as you can see, the edges are kind of folded over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work it with my hands to make it all smooth and make sure all the edges are sealed. Just like this. There you have it. That's one of my uh, cheese stuffed burgers. I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna keep going with the rest and uh, I'll show you how I smoke them. Okay, so I've got my burgers all stuffed. All right, what else I'm making to go on my burgers are these little mini bacon weaves. They'll stay together better and instead of just throwing a slab of bacon on the top. So all you do is you cut your pack of bacon in half, you put two um, slices of bacon side by side, you grab two more, and you just put one under one side, and then the other under the other side and you get this perfect little square kind of thing. And uh, it will go perfectly on top of a burger like this. You can see that hopefully. I'm gonna throw that on a cookie sheet. You gotta keep it nice and tight so when it does cook, it will stay in this like sheet of bacon, this perfect little square of bacon that you can plop on the top of your burger with all the rest of your fixings. So I'm gonna keep going with the bacon. Again, just two strips side by side, two more. You're just gonna put one over top, one piece underneath. Same thing, but opposite, like this. And there you have it, perfect little square of bacon. It's gonna look so pretty. Put that on your bacon sheet. And uh, I'm gonna smoke this with my uh, burgers. All right, so I've got my burgers ready to throw on. I've got my bacon ready to throw on. 
my grill, I've got it set to 225. I'm using a mixture of hickory, maple, cherry, one of the mixed bags. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my burgers on as well as the bacon and I'm going to let it smoke for 30 minutes. Once that's done, I'm going to finish the bacon off in the oven because it's going to be at 350. Uh, and then I'm going to turn my smoker up to 450 and I'm going to finish off the burgers to get that nice like crisp on the outside. But I want the internal temp to be 165. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these on. All right, so I've got my burgers on, my bacon on. Um, I'm going to let that go for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to show you what they look like. Um, I just want to add to my bacon. I just used like a little wire rack like this over top, and that way when it cooks, it's going to keep it nice and flat. All right, so my burgers are done. They look fantastic. They took about an hour and 10 minutes, so 30 minutes at smoke, 225, and then I cranked it up to 450 and finished them off until the internal temperature reached 165. So they look perfect. Uh, very little of the cheese seeped out throughout the cooking process, so it's perfect. Um, I also finished off my bacon. I did the 30 minutes on the um, smoker at 225 with the burgers, and then I finished it in the oven at 350, and it took about another 20, 25 minutes to uh, get that perfect crisp. Like you can see, they're like these perfect little squares that will go perfectly on top of the burgers. What else I have to top my burgers with are, I caramelized some onions with a little bit of balsamic. I put two sweet onions chopped up and then I also added about two tablespoons of uh, a nice aged balsamic and just basically caramelized them so they're yummy. And then I also have some fried onions or fried uh, mushrooms, sorry. I've got some barbecue sauce, um, lettuce, pickles, avocado, and tomatoes, and my bun, which I uh, just broiled for a couple minutes with a piece of cheese, and it's an onion bun. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this all together, my little masterpiece. I'm going to take one of my burgers and put it here and then I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on top. I cannot wait to cut into this. They're massive, like this is, this is a pretty big meal. We definitely wouldn't need two patties for this. There we go, some barbecue sauce. I'm going to add some of my balsamic glazed caramelized onions. I'm not going to cheap out on those because they're going to be fantastic. There we go. I'm going to add a couple of mushrooms. Everything's just pouring out over the sides. That's okay. That's what a good burger is supposed to do. All right. Top those on there. I'm going to add I like avocado, so I'm going to add that. Smush those on there. It's going to be a big burger. And I'm going to top it with a piece of lettuce. Smush that in there. Piece of bacon. Can't forget that. And top the bun. There you have it. My beautiful looking cheese stuffed burger. All right, I'm gonna cut through this and uh, see what the inside of the burger looks like. Oh. Cheese stuffed burger. This is gonna be so good. Oh, can't wait to dig in. All right. If you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep doing videos a couple times a week.